Okay. How are we doing? Okay. Um, welcome and thank you for coming to our strategic planning meetings. Um, a lot going on. I was just talking to uh, Mr. Fidel last week. He was in Albany lobbying for money for his hospital, and tomorrow I'll be back in Albany lobbying for uh, just some, a better funding stream for Hamilton Central School. So uh, that's why I'm a little bit late today. Um, tonight is an extension of our last meeting, and at our last meeting, we took a look at data, not 2G. Uh, Mr. Ellis presented some data on elementary achievement. Mr. Dowslin uh, presented some data on student achievement. I presented some data on um, enrollment projections and, um, and, and increase and decrease. Um, I presented some data on um, the overall district spending over the last few years. And we had some serious conversations and it, and it just started kind of tweaked the surface. We took a look at some other data and tonight we're gonna to go deeper into the data. And um, a friend of mine gave me a book the other day that I've been reading and listening to called Crucial Conversations. And I'm just gonna throw three things out there to frame our conversation tonight. Because tonight we're looking at additional data. Mm -hmm. We're looking at narrative from students. We're looking at some survey um, data that will help us get a clearer picture of where we are. So if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I said something about like a scoreboard. Data helps us like a scoreboard. And um, well, I guess the last scoreboard that, I, that was really exciting to me was the Syracuse Duke game. And, um, and at the last minute, you know, you know, something drastic had to happen for Syracuse to win, and it happened. Um, but that was data, right? At the last minute, that data shifted, and we kind of got a, a, a good win, right? And I say we, because at this point, I'm Central New York. I made it through two winters, and I, 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 I get a card at some point. Um, <laughs> so, so tonight we're going to look at data. And the thing that I'm going to invite everyone to consider is this thing that I'm learning about crucial conversations. Crucial conversations happen when three things happen. Strong emotion. Raise your hand if you happen to love your child. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So that's going to be an, an entry point because we love our children. The other thing is high stakes. Raise your hand if your child has a high stake. Pretty much. Right. And the other thing is raise your hand if you've ever had an opinion that's different than someone else's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so those are the three factors that kind of make for a crucial conversation. And because we're all great people and we know how to handle these conversations, I won't go into what I'm learning in this book. I will say, though, that let's just leave some space for difference and hear each other because it is the power that is being generated in this room that I believe will help us move forward. Now, I got some data also. There's qualitative data, quantitative data. One of the things that I am learning, and I guess a lot of people learned, is that we, in addition to some of the th things we do, we have to look at our building culture, we have to look at morale, right? And I'm saying that because I'm the leader, and I, I, I haven't always understood that so strongly. Like, so one of the things I'm going to ask Tammy and Donna to do is help us, we, the broader we, understand more about culture, about communication, and dynamic, and morale, and how all of that plays out in a cycle of change and in the day-to-day -day activity. So they have more experience in this than I do, so I'm going to turn it over to them now. We have uh, Tammy and Donna. So. We'll turn it over. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you. And we will talk a little bit more about that culture and climate in a few minutes. So we've been here. This is our third month together. Holy cow, it's going so fast, isn't it? Would you take a minute at your tables and just kind of reflect on the last two meetings and what what has maybe crossed your mind this past month? Any concerns? Any wonders? So go ahead and talk amongst yourselves and sort of reflect on the process so far.
so tonight, I think the uh, the takeaway from tonight is that uh, the, the data was very interesting. It was very uh, eye-opening in some cases. There was definitely some surprises that they showed us. I'm really looking forward to uh, the future where we see the data from the students and uh, data from other uh, input. And so I thought that the conversation that we had tonight about the different data points was really valuable. Uh, it was it was interesting to hear everybody's perception and everybody's takeaways from what what we were reading, what we were looking into as far as the data from um, from the school survey. And again, I uh, I also look forward to figuring out what the rest of the data is going to say and how we're going to interpret it as a big group and the plan. I'm excited to see the plan that comes from it.